my grade threes. So one of your activities for today is looking at degrees of comparisons. So we're going to use a bit of a game to look at this idea. Have you ever heard about the Olympics before? Like the Olympic Games? Now the Olympic Games are a really important sporting event that takes place once every four years. There are the Summer Olympics and the Winter Olympics for different kinds of sport. Because we know you can't really snow ski in summer and you probably wouldn't want to swim in winter. So they have different games at different times. Now the Olympic Games goes way back to a time before Jesus was even born. In around about 776 BC, that means before Christ's birth, the first Olympic Games took place. And it has continued and changed over the years. So the very first Olympic Games took place 2,795 years ago. That is quite impressive. Now we're going to pretend that we're going to the Olympic Games today. How exciting! We're going to go to this big international event and we're going to watch different animals, insects and people take place and decide who's going to win each game. So, our first event that we're going to go watch today is high jump. Now high jump is an interesting activity. It's when you have to jump as high as you can over these really high poles. Now we're watching the high jump take place to see who can jump high, who can jump higher, and who can jump the highest. So first we see a human, and the human jumps as high as he or she is tall, approximately two meters long, or high. That's impressive. Then an insect comes along, an Australian beetle. And the Australian beetle, the frog hopper, jumps 10 times its own length. Wow. And then an animal comes along. And the animal is a kangaroo. And the kangaroo jumps three meters high. Now, who do you think wins this high jump? The frog hopper, the Australian beetle. If you could jump as high in relation to the frog hopper, you would be able to jump over a very tall building. Have you ever tried to do that? That's impressive. Okay, let's move on to our next game. We're going to head over to the running and we're going to see who can run fast, who can run faster, and who can run the fastest. So we start by watching the humans and a human can run at about 40 kilometers an hour. Then an insect comes along, an Australian tiger beetle, and it can run nine kilometers an hour. And then the cheetah comes along, and the cheetah can run 110 kilometers an hour. Wow. So who wins the running race? Well, the Australian tiger beetle might be fast, but the human is faster. But the cheetah is the fastest. The cheetah wins. He runs as fast as a car driving on the highway. That is very fast. Next, we head on over to the long jump. We're going to see who can jump the furthest distance. We want to see who can jump far, who can jump farther, and who can jump the farthest. So, we first watch the human. And the human jumps three times its own length. So take your length, take your height, and times that by three. Then comes along an insect. And the insect is a flea. And he jumps 200 times its own length. Whoa! And then comes along a grasshopper. And the grasshopper jumps 80 times its own length. So, who wins for jumping the furthest? Well, the human can jump far, but if you look at the grasshopper, it jumps a bit 
father. And the flea definitely jumps the farthest. If you could jump as far in relation to the flea, you could jump the length of a rugby field. Imagine jumping from one side of the rugby field all the way across to the other side. That's impressive. Next, we're going to head over to weightlifting. We want to see in our Olympic Games who can lift the heaviest weight. So we want to see who's strong, who is stronger, and who is strongest. So who can lift something heavy, who can lift something a little bit heavier, but who can lift the heaviest weight? So we first watch the human, and a human athlete can lift its own weight, so however much they weigh. Then comes along an insect, a dung beetle, and a dung beetle pushes a ball of dung that is 50 times heavier than itself. Wow. And then comes along an animal, and our animal is a gorilla, and it lifts 10 times its own weight. So a human can lift something heavy, except the gorilla can lift something heavier, and the dung beetle can lift something the heaviest. So who would win? The dung beetle. If you were as strong as a dung beetle, and you could lift 50 times your own weight, you would be able to lift up 10 friends at once. Can you imagine? So today we're looking at degrees of comparison. High, higher, highest. Fast, faster, fastest. Far, farther, farthest. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. Now I've got a bit of a challenge for you. If we did go to the Olympic Games and we got to watch the humans and the insects and the animals and we were comparing who was winning and who was losing, do you know which insect would be shouting the loudest at our event? Who do you think would be cheering and shouting louder than any other insect? So my challenge for you is do a little bit of research. Can you find out what the loudest insect is? This insect can sing at 120 decibels. Louder than a lion roars at 110 decibels. And louder than humans shout at 88 decibels. So that's your challenge for today. Degrees of comparison. Thanks for listening and learning with me.